listen, yo, now this fucker's stalking me while I'm at work. Look at this shit. I'm sitting here taking DoorDash deliveries, right? He's pulling in and, and snooping around, following me around, dude. You look at that. There he is. 100% creeper. Like I said, I don't want to be around him. I'm, I'm, there he goes, right there. Right? thought he was going to be like... He's supposed to be over at the house now. Look, can't show you the my GPS while I don't want to give away my location, but that's him. He literally just walked around. Like I just got off, a, I just delivered some Wendy's, right? He pulls up. Creeper, man. Fucking, fucking creeper, dude. I'm getting sick of this shit. I thought you was gonna be staying over at grandma's all day. You wanted to visit your mommy. Why you why you coming around me, dude? Am I gonna have to go down to Johnson City and Bristol and stuff? Well, that ain't his. Where's his go? Where'd he go? He might have went on. Literally, dude. Right like right where I'm parked at even. Creeping me out, dude. I don't wanna be around the fucker. That, that, you seen it with your own eyes. That was him. I wish I'd have got him while he was walking. Just, just, yeah. Creep. Absolute creep. Absolute creep. Borderline confidential informant, weirdo, gang stalker behavior with that you one. You saw it on camera. All right. I thought he wanted to visit mom. Wanted to, wanted to visit grandma. Why is he following me around? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On the job, following, I'm in my working kick. Von Warren's vest got the app going on shift right now. Literally just made a delivery and uh, him pulling in like that. Mm, what you doing? Where's he going? Where's he getting that money from? Selling drugs? I think he's a confidential informant. I think there's no reason. Listen, maybe maybe it's paranoid, but listen, he's coming in two, three, four, five times a week, following me around like that, telling him I absolutely don't want to be around him. Yet he's always there. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. If he's not getting like, I wonder if he's because that's the first thing the feds go after. Is your family members and stuff, or your close associates, if they want to, like, snitch on you and crap. And, you know, he's always, I've caught, he's always packing heat, he's always concealed carry, always wear, sometimes he comes in wearing a fucking bulletproof vest. Guy's giving me bad vibes, I don't want to be around him, period. And I'm putting that on the record in case anything happens. Like, I'm like, hey, I don't like you, I don't want to be around you, you keep following me around, even in town when I'm working. Uh... You thought you was going to be at the house. It's only like 1 o'clock right now. I thought you was going to be at the house. What you wanted to visit your mommy. You're all, Like if I was at the house, he'd stay there until 7 p.m. You understand what I'm saying? He'd stay there all day. He's had all day stay there. Fucker following me around, dude. Ain't the... Don't like the situation. He's packing heat. He's, he's something not right. Either if he's not a confidential informant or something doing this crap then there's something wrong with him jeffrey dahmer bullshit i don't know uh sometimes he's he's came in wearing a vest uh there's a lot of stuff going on that i can't even talk about but it's getting to the to the breaking point you understand i don't want to be around oh oh it's a public parking lot i can go to the anywhere i want to which is true but it's really really suspicious right uh Coming in just to visit every single week, two, three times a week, using the, leaving the dog there every week as an excuse to come and everything else. Garen fucking Ted had been there right till sundown, about seven o'clock, five o'clock, around in that time. This is a big ass town, big ass parking lot. Walking right in front of my truck like that. Pulling up, walking right in front of my truck like that. What are the chances, you know? But again, oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to Walmart to the parking lot. I can walk around in the parking lot, you know. I'm just doing some shopping. I'm just going to park right beside you and walk in front of you and stuff and let you know I'm here. Let you know I got a gun. Yo, he's looking. I th don't trust the situation. 
don't trust the situation, you know. You know what, I'm gonna attack this on the end of the video just in case, look right there, what he left behind. Now, ironically, right, ironically, I'm wearing, you know, now was that a coincidence or did, did he do it on purpose? That's the, th that's the type of stuff he's, he's doing shady ass weird passive aggressive harassment type stuff like that. I never knew if it could have just dropped it, you know. Oh, whoops, but what, you know, I'm making me wonder about the guy come home to that shit. But yeah, now him just leaving a, a Gatorade bottle in the driveway for me to find after I get home. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All the shady, weird, sketchy shit he's doing. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's just a coincidence. You know, this is the type of uh, stuff, the type of harassment that people do on the down low. Like, you know, to make you look like you're crazy. Uh, you know, it, it, this is this is gaslighting type behavior here, and he's been doing this for a while. And guess what? You know, guess what else? Come on, dog. You gonna bark all night, ain't you? It's him following me around. Him uh, coming in on the days that he knows that I have to be here because I got to do chores and stuff for grandmother. He come in the other, there's 365 days in a year, 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. But he comes in specifically on the days and does shit like this and everything else. You know, follows, just, just, he, it, it's, it's sketchy. It's sketchy as fuck. You can tell this ain't even been opened. It's like he just bought it to, for that very purpose. Probably went down the road and bought it and threw it out there after uh, after after he was done. I'm not making this shit up. Yeah, for real. Never have I ever seen that guy. The whole time he has been coming here, the whole time I have known him with a bottle of Gatorade until I started wearing this hat. What that feels like is he's saying, I'm watching you. Like he's a confidential informant, man. That's what it feels like, or he's on some bullshit. I, maybe I'm being a little sketched out from everything else that's happened today, but just coming home, you know, him leaving that little surprise makes me wonder, man. Cause it wasn't even open. Oh, well, he just might've dropped it out. He might've just dropped it. Yeah, you know, like a big old ball, like a thump, 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 thump. You know, you ain't gonna notice you dropped it, right? You know, he's on some sketchy ass bullshit. Again, that feels like a kind of down low harassment, like I'm watching you, kind of like a gaslighting, kind of like a, something a confidential informant would do, you know, just to fuck with a person on down low. And then when they're like, hey, this, this, this guy's making me uncomfortable. It's like, for example, say there was a guy stalking a girl and uh, he just set a pop can on her doorstep every day, you know, or something like that. You know, just to, to let her know that he's been there and that he's watching her, or, you know, or maybe put a lock of her hair or something that he got off the, off the, the, the barber floor. He's doing this shady shit. I'm, I'm documenting it. I'm hoping to get the fuck out of here before I don't trust him one bit, I'm, and I'm showing it live action. Mr. Makes 50, and it makes me wonder about other stuff too that's been, go there's been a lot of sketchy stuff going on, and I'm starting to wonder if he's been the one behind some of it. I thought it might have been something else, but now I'm starting to wonder, because somebody that makes $50,000 a month, you know, they have a lot of free time and money to, to pay people to do stuff. And I'm starting to wonder, starting to wonder if he's not a, a confidential informant and getting instructed to do this stuff and paid to do this stuff. He's just a, a messed up in the head. I don't want to be around him. Again, I'm going to say it. I don't want to be around him, but you saw he left the dog here. He's going to come back after me distinctly saying I don't want to be around him. Think about that. Guy driving... 
again, two, two hours each way, an hour and 30 minutes each way to a person's house that wants nothing to do with them. Does that sound right? That don't sound right, man.